And we're going to wait here for the teams to pick their pick their roles, see what happens. I have a feeling we know, just as always. The question is, can they execute? Fair State, of course, this would be the first time we've seen them on this map. Of course, we've never played them before. So curious to see their strategy as well. And so Murray State is on defense. And here we go. 25 seconds for King's Row. Murray State needs to win this map. They will be on defense first, and then, of course, swap sides on offense and defense. If Murray State loses on King's Row. That'll be it for the night. And Murray State will lose 2 to nothing in the second chance bracket. Now, that does not mean they're out of the competition. I don't know exactly when that cutoff will be. It's a Swiss bracket, which means there's several games they play before they're officially out of the Varsity League, um, or officially out of chances to qualify for the Varsity League. Um, but should not be tonight. And they've switched to the Reinhardt. So interesting strategy coming in from Ferris State. Murray State put up the ice wall, but Ferris State able to just trickle in. Immortality Field protecting the team. And there's Anher. He's had an incredible May so far in King's Row. We've seen some amazing ice walls in combination with Aziz and his halt ability on Orissa. But Ferris State is just playing fully aggro here. Just really pushing Murray State back and... and Murray State, you can tell just by watching them. They're not organized and they're not ready to deal with this. Emily has fallen. Aziz has fallen. Chief takes out. Zarya Adam. But now Flawfield has fallen as well. And now it's all on Anher to just him and the Chief to try and keep this alive. But Bonsai as well and the Reaper getting a pick. So Murray State starting to stabilize. And now it's Anher unfortunately unable to hold all by himself. And the Ferris State Bulldogs have come to play. And, of course, Murray State not seeing a point in feeding there. But Ferris State says, hey, let's go ahead and build up our ult a little bit. But now they're going to get staggered slightly. They may not mind because they've got the payload so far back. They probably just want to get some ult charge. But at the same time, they're going to feed Murray State's ult charge. Damage Matrix coming in from Flatfield. There's a rock coming in from Sigma to stun. And he does get the stun. Can they take out the Zarya to stag? She bubbles and gets away. And here comes the payload. This archway has proven difficult for teams so far in this competition. And now the Chief has his Gravitic Flux. Is he going to use it here? He does. They're all on that point. He's going to raise him in the air and slam him down. Bonsai gets the pick on Brute. The MST takes out Anher. Now the Ice Walls are not going to be in effect until Anher gets back with the team. There's Carmel coming in with his ult. While Carmel does get Bonsai, the Immortality Field does kind of prevent Murray State. But, oh, he gets pinned by the Reinhardt. Oh, my goodness. Murray State, we're seeing this problem again. Dealing with these... Uh, it's the words they use, aggro teams, pushing forward. They, uh, When the teams come to a, a proper head-on-head, -head, you know, fighting each other, head-to-head, -head, Murray State does seem to prevail most times, but when they get staggered and, and the Bulldogs come in and uh, just continually try to snowball the Murray State Racers, they have trouble dealing with that. And now, you know, very close to that second point, there's a Blizzard coming in from Anher. Bongo's coming in from Aziz to try and boost his team. Anher gets to pick on Bree. Carmel taking out the bongos for Aziz. Now Carmel gets Flatfield as well. That's one support down. They're going to have to be careful on the back line of the Reaper. He's still there. He's still feeling about. The Chief gets to pick on NM3. Bonsai getting Caramel. Aziz falls. And Anher just trying to push his team forward a little bit and come out by the payload. And he does. So that's a perfect example. Murray State engaged that fight, head-to-head -head fight, take it on their terms, and Murray State comes out victorious. Now the problem is if Murray State loses one of those fights or starts to get staggered and, and then Ferris State starts pushing forward, that's where we've seen the trouble so far. So can they hold here? Good ice wall. You know Ferris State has got to have a couple ults in. They probably have that shatter, probably waiting for the right moment to do it. Oh, can they? Oh, my goodness. The Zarya with one health managed to sneak away around the corner. Keep an eye on Anher for a minute, who's almost at his blizzard. 
do a quick ult check. Emily and the Chief both have theirs on the right hand side. They're going to have to watch out for McCree for Bree. Bree takes off Flatfield. MST gets Emily. That's both support down for Murray State. They're going to have to hold on here. And and her just trying to dance around on that point so they can't take it with the May. Frustrating. Can't kill her. And the Chief now falls. And once again, and her is the last one remaining. Gets killed by that stun grenade from Bree. And Ferris State closing in on that third point. They've reached the second. And they have four minutes to get to the last point. Murray State in a world of trouble here if they don't stabilize and start winning these fights. And trying to hold this corner. Hammer down. There's the shatter coming in and a big shatter for Ferris. Oh my goodness, several down from Mary State, but they can't really capitalize on it, actually. As big as the Shadow was, Z's actually kills the Reinhardt. Really not sure if they just did that out of desperation, or if he thought his team was there to help him out, but Icewall is going to keep that Reaper from fading back to his team. Perfect teamwork from Murray State now. Since Carmel died, Ferris State is staggered. Bonsai playing as the Reaper, he's going to have to come up big here. He's got die, die, die. He's got his ult. He's going to hopefully make them die, die, die when he hits Q. Just trying to break that shield on that Reinhardt. You don't see a whole lot of teams playing Reinhardt nowadays. Or Zarya, and maybe there's uh, a good reason why they have the... Uh... Oh my goodness, poor Bonsai. Can't even finish my thought because he fades forward and the McCree gets him with his ult at the last second. He knew he was coming. And <laughs> Ferris just seems to be on point today, Murray State. I don't know if they're just... They weren't ready or what, but Ferris State is going to close this out right here. I don't think they're going to get there in time. They're... Preventing them from getting out of the spawn. There's Reaper Bonsai. He gets two. Chief gets the third. And her falls to Reinhardt. And now Bonsai pushing forward. He's not done. He's not ready for this to be done. They switched over to Hanzo on Ferris. And Bree is going to fall. That's several DPS changes so far for Ferris State. Hasn't affected their consistency at all. Murray State... And before you saw them hop on the point to push it back, I believe that said 0 .09 meters. Holy cow, it could not have been closer. Unbelievable clutch save from Murray State, but now they've got to reward themselves for playing so well for that save. You can see their Reaper coming in. They've Ice Wall just keep him away. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of space on the right-hand side here. They come forward, Zarya just trying to get her charge going. She's got her bubble on herself. Oh, and there's a Shatter coming in from there, Reinhardt. He's going to get one. Oh, Immortality Field from Flatfield keeps the team alive. Murray State just holding on here. They must he gets Chief. Damage Makers coming in. Going to provide some extra firepower. Emily and Anne are both getting picks as well. And now Aziz as well. Aziz, he's a stable machine, man. He just... The team kill from Murray State. If you need somebody on the point who's not going to die and not going to just roll over, Aziz is the man for that. Although, on her as well, I mean... Well, two times earlier he was on the point and... Just tried to stay alive after his team was down. Of course, they're not able to. And Murray State with this, another great hold, but a lot invested in that. Of course, they did waste the Shatter as well on the Ferris State side. Now the Ice Wall coming in, separating there. Orissa, they switched over to Orissa and Sigma now. Any ult they had would have been reset on those tanks. And there's uh, Flowfield just trying to survive with that Reaper trying to harass the backline here. And you can see his healing grenades coming in. There's Anne Hur. He's down to 32 health. Excellent heals coming in from Murray State. Ice Wall trying to separate the team once again. Carmel coming in. Is there an immortality field? And there is to save them. Bonsai falls, but Anne Hur takes out the Reaper. Murray State, is this going to be another excellent defense? There's the Doomfist. Bree looks to be frozen. They're going to have to. Oh, goodness. He gets stunned. But fortunately, had the ice block. Murray State, 30 seconds. Can they hold on? If they can win it here, it's going to put a really a lot of pressure on Ferris State. And there is so much happening on this point right now. This is unbelievable. Murray State with a clutch defense so far that Orissa is still alive. They need to go ahead and take care of her. Flatfield has to waste the immortality field. Might be crucial if they come in with a big ability here. And now the Orissa falls, but there they are again. Ferris State just relentlessly pouring in. They've got Blizzard. Is he going to go ahead and use it? And he does. He's going to catch the Moira unless she has a fade. Takes out the Moira tongue. She's down. Sigma throwing in a shield, but it's not going to matter. Overtime is now starting to tick away. If they can kill them here, they're going to go forward and her with the Ice Wall. Oh my goodness, Murray State trying to hold on here. And there goes the Sigma. Ferris State with an incredible offensive display, and it's not done. There's the Hammond. But of course, the May makes easy work of the Hammond. And Oh my goodness. Can they make it one last time? And they don't. Murray State. 2 to nothing scoreline, but holds on to prevent the 3-0. Wow. Take a breath, everybody.
What an excellent defensive play from Murray State University. Oh. And that was just when you thought it was over. Just when you thought Murray State was going to roll over and, you know, let the Ferris State Bulldogs just run in there. They hunker down and have a heck of a defense. And especially Ferris State, their Reaper was at the spawn. He was right there, and Murray State just pushed forward and brushed him aside. Took the game by the scruff of the neck and held on. Excellent work from the racers there. Very impressed. But now the hard work begins because now Murray State has to play offense. Be interested to see how Ferris State does on the defense here because they've played very aggressive so far. But when you're playing on defense, it can be harder to be aggressive. Um, I mean, it's possible. You win a team fight and you push forward and you hold higher up. It's definitely possible, but Murray State might be able to use this newfound aggression to go past uh, Ferris State. And if they can make it all the way to the end, and technically they don't even have to make it all the way to the end, because Ferris State didn't actually touch the last point, so they just have to make it to the spot Ferris State did. And if they do, this will push this to a map three. And uh, if you're just joining us, Murray State earlier got the automatic win because Union County uh, College Esports, the Owls, were unable to play. There's the ice wall. Oh my goodness, they weren't expecting it. How many times has, have they done it to other teams and they, they just didn't expect a perfect ice wall, but they're, and her counters with an ice wall of his own and it looks like they're going to run the Bastion. Oh my goodness. But we've seen this before where the other team has run a Bastion, but they're not going to dive down on the point. The Sigma falls down and he gets frozen. And even though Bonsai falls, Murray State is going to take this first point with relative ease, it looks like. Immortality Field misplaced from Ferris State. and Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's get Owen Wilson in here for a while, because that is unbelievable choking from Ferris State to have played so well in this game so far in both maps to just let that first point fall that quickly to Murray State. Not that Murray State necessarily got lucky. Murray State played that very well, but Ferris State just made it a lot harder for themselves. You see the perpendicular shields. Uh, as I we was saying earlier, Murray State technically got, technically got the W earlier. Now they're up against Ferris State Bulldogs. They're down one to nothing on map count, but the score is now two to one on map two. Murray State can extend to map three if they win here. Aziz gets the pick on Bree, and now Ferris State is staggered again. Beautiful Hawk coming in from Aziz. Bonsai gets the pick as well, and Murray State pushing for here now, giving Ferris State a taste of their own medicine and her ice blocks. Bonsai kills Carmel. The barrier is fracturing, but he's going to throw another one down anyway because he wants to protect his team, and here comes the Rock to stun. Aziz gets the pick on MS3, and Aziz is just shown up, and since that last defensive hold, he has just really stepped up his game, and he's doing very well. Everybody is on the Murray State side. Emily who has been actually really consistent so far, just continues to put in excellent healing. And Murray State, you can see now three alts and almost a two more in a prime position here to push forward with the payload. Bonsai gets the blessing of Emily's healing orb. She's going to fade back because the Gravitic Flux slams down the racers, but no picks coming out from that. And a Blizzard, just as, just as Ferris State tried to come in and capitalize on that Gravitic Flux, the Blizzard comes in from Anher, but then, of course, Blizzard as well from Ferris State. So a stalemate here as Murray State will slowly inch the point forward. Flatfield has switched over to his main. Ana, let's see if we can stay on him for a minute and get some uh, highlight reel sleeps going in here. Excellent Ana player. Can't wait to see him in action here. He may switch back depending on... Because they're going to have they're going to lose the sight lines here. So is he going to switch back after the Nano? And who will he Nano? Bonsai looks like... Has his alt. And let's keep these two in mind here. Flawfield, let's watch him. Oh boy. Reaper trying to harass him. He's got to be careful. They're pushing it forward. He sprays on the cart. His confidence is high right now, you can tell. From the way he's playing, he's saving that nano. Bree gets a pick on Anher. They're going to have to watch that Reaper in the back line. Chief is aware. He's got the... Uh, Absorption, <laughs> drawing a blink on the ability there to absorb the bullets. Flatfield nading to stay alive, and he falls. So NM has switched over to Lucio, and now they're going to push forward here. We'll switch back over. Murray State 2. Fair State 2, 4 minutes, 30 seconds. Plenty of time for Murray State to make this a 
three to two game and push this to map three. And Murray State has the ults. And here we go. Reaper. Bonsai. He finds their Reaper napping and almost punishes him. Ice Wall coming in from Manhara to separate. They need to go ahead and kill him and they can't get him in time. He manages to get just past that shield and stays alive. Almost staggered that Reaper. Brilliant work from Bonsai. Gravitic Flux coming in. Now it's an ult fight. 80% he's, he tries to pull off his ult but he gets cancelled by the rock. That Nano. Oh, beautiful sleep before he died coming in, unfortunately. Wakes him right up through all the chaos. Now Murray State has hit a wall. And what changes are we going to see here? Flaphill stays on the Anna. He's still got Nano. Seas has his bongos, and Blizzard is almost there for on her. We can watch Anna from the back line here, get a good view of the proceedings, throwing in the grenade. There's Gravitic Flux is going to catch most of Murray State Racers up. And unfortunately, that's the, the bad part about Flat Filth now being on the Anna is he can't put down an immortality field to help out his team. I don't think the Anna is going to really be the good, the good pick here. He wants to use the Nano, but he's been holding on to it for so long. It feels like he just needs to use it and switch back to the Baptiste. They need that immortality field. Hold on. And now Murray State taking this fight in the hallway. Reaper in the back line trying to get away. That ice wall is going to him. Can he get around the edge? Yeah, he does. And now they've regrouped and turned around. But there's the Blizzard to catch them. Pushing forward two picks from Murray State. But unfortunately, oh no, they get Bree as well. Murray State is going to win this fight. They're going to push forward here. They might be able to take it around the score for the first time in this map. They've got two minutes left. Murray State versus Fair State. This is an intense map so far. Ice Wall to prevent them coming out of that side of the spawn. Now we did see Fair State get into a similar position and then Murray State fight them back. What is going to happen here? Murray State inching forward. Ice Wall, beautiful from in her as well. The Doomfist is able to get around it, no problem. There's a Gravitic Flux that's going to catch most of the racers. Ice Block to heal himself before he hits the ground. Oh, and there's Reaper's ult to take out several. Murray State falling. But Bonsai's still on the point. He's not ready to give it up. And there he goes. Flatfield jumping off just to reset. The Nano has been used. And Murray State need to get a third point here to avoid sending it into any extra time. Here comes that corner fight. This has been a difficult corner. Even though they pushed the cart this far, Fair State is going to hold them up a little higher. And the shield staggering, taking damage. They're trying to alternate those shields. And right now, Murray State is caught in a bad position because they don't have the shields. Both of them broke at the same time, and now there's no shields down. Murray State needs to put a shield down. Just taking in all the damage. 60 seconds remaining. Murray State has to do something here. If they get the picks, they can push forward, and they might be able to do it. Waiting for the first death. Meteor Strike. Immortality Field. There's that Doomfist charging away. No death so far. Blizzard's coming in. Who's going to get frozen? Who's going to get killed? MST gets on her. That's the May down for Murray State. Only taking out Arissa's bomb goes. They've got 30 seconds. Murray State is inching forward. They've got everybody on the payload. Body stacking up. Halt's in the middle. Beautiful halt from Aziz, but there's the shield to prevent any further damage. Is he going to use his ult here? He does. Aziz just trying to stabilize. He's the stable machine we said earlier. He's staying alive. Oh, and there he does. Beautiful damage matrix, but the Gravitic Flux makes it hard to shoot out of that. But Aziz stays alive. Excellent heals coming in from Murray State. Can he get the Moira here? Moira fades. Oh, and there goes Moira, and there goes the Orissa. Murray State, I think they're going to do it here. Sigma trying to hold on. They're inching forward. They're almost to overtime. Two seconds, one second. Murray State, they need to stay on it now because now it's overtime. They can push forward here. Ult coming in from Bonsai. Kills Bree. Bree gets Flatfield. And Murray State is going to push it forward and extend this to a map three. Excellent job from Murray State. Play 
Excellent game. Caramel's play of the game right there. Really hard to pick out a play of the game, I'd say, in that game. There were so many, uh, not any huge, like, multi-kills, but a lot of individual effort. 